Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're uh, back playing Tales and Tactics. So yeah, I'm going to be using this character who I really haven't used before. Um, I phrase or if, if I, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but he's a mythic based um, hero. Uh, so a lot of his perks and stuff relate and buff uh, mythic units. So, for example, this one here, Mythic Legion, your army can have any number of Mythic units, and you start the run with a special Mythic Warband. I also start with this, uh, uh, I mean, I, I think it's a random Mythic, yeah. Start the run with a random Mythic unit. Three, unic, uh, three unique Mythic units are added to your uh, unit draft pool, including rare Mythics. So, we're going to be focusing heavily on Mythic units and trying to see what kind of you know what we can uh do i want to try to do mythic only i haven't done any testing of this so if this doesn't go too well then that <laughs> might be the reason why uh the warrior loses its base traits and becomes a mythic so, first of all, this guy is a tank, um, based on its max HP. So, we're definitely going to want to buff this guy's max HP. So, we're going to want to focus on, um, probably focus on, like, emergency chicken. And definitely want to focus on, like, the meat equipment. And then, like, their merge recipes and stuff like that. The equipment that you can make using the meat. Because that buffs uh, max health. Um, this one could be good, too. Mana Soaker. For every 100 mana the wearer gains, they gain a shield for 10% of their max HP. That could be good, too. So, we'll, we'll kind of see how things go. For now, uh, I think we're going to try to have uh, some of these other units uh, on the board just to get something going, um, just to spark something, and then we'll see how it goes. I'm not too sure what units would really... Here, hold on, hold on. Before I get too far into this... I'm going to turn the music down a little bit, and then turn it down. There we go. Um, just so that the game doesn't end up being louder than me. Um, but yeah, I figured, go with... Um, Sanctus, or however you pronounce his name, for the sake of healing. And that will hopefully help us get through some of these earlier, earlier rounds. Um, ooh, this could be good. Oh. Yeah, definitely. This units have in spell power. Yeah, that seems really good. Oh, and we got a level up. Units with at least hearts. Kill the foe, gain one HP. Um. That's, that's only after combat. It's not like you get 1 XP per kill that they get. Armed and Ready is the only one here that I'm actually interested in. But I think we're going to do a reroll. For each vault level. Um. Ooh.
That's decent, but 10 cost reduction, that's actually really good. Uh, Roadside Library, let's check this out, see what we... You guys can read through that if you want, I'm not going to, but... Level up. You got him, right? I mean, you got him. <laughs> so we have... A couple of minus twos to minus three. Okay. No curse. And we don't have anything that's gonna reduce our curse level. So I think we just collect and leave. I think I think we just take it take that, consider it a win, and move on. Let's level up our vault. Drop this on an ally unit to gain any unit you don't have. That matches one of its traits. Okay. Um, so what does this guy do? Hub Foes that were already hubble are hobbled or instead stunned. And this guy goes well with stuns. Okay. Uh... This is the highest attack damage fell for five seconds. Not cast. There's only one enemy alive. That seems pretty good. Against seated foes. Seated foes have no armor expected when they die. Jeez, these mythic guys. See, this one is really good as well. Proton is very good. Uh, so there's actually some really, I think I'm going to take Proton, I think I can only take one, I'm going to take Proton, the reason being, for one, he's a ranged unit, so that's just going to be very but also, because he's a very powerful mythic unit as well. Blobbert, there we go. We have another, another mythic unit. So we can start kind of getting rid of some of our non-mythic units. I think I'm going to keep these two for now, just for the, well, yeah, just for the sake of the elemental effect. Yeah, we'll go with that. And honestly, that mana that mana capacitor is going to be really nice for Proton as well, because he's going to require less mana to obviously cast his ability, and he's going to every time he casts his ability, he's going to gain the six attack damage. Uh, see, this is going to be good. Gains, gains, and grows, dealing and taking twenty percent less damage. Eh. So this this is basically like the pure definition of a tank. Where I could put like for example Hugo here, I could put him down. You gain 20% max health, take let 20% less damage, but also deal 20% less damage. <laughs> so quite literally making him the definition of a tank. Uh, uh, this is difficult. 
because both of these would be really good. I think I might go for the Meat Master. Just because the Meat Master doesn't just apply to one unit, it'll apply to any unit I give the meat component to. So I think we're going to go with that. So what would be better? I'm attacking you. Stuns them. When hit, gain 3% attack damage and maximum HP up to 15 stacks. So gain 45% attack damage and 45% maximum health on top of the plus 20%. So it's a plus 65% max health with this, basically. And plus 60% attack damage, which is actually... Honestly, yeah, honestly, getting a lot of those would be really nice. So I'm gonna. I wish. I wish you could lock it. Um. Um, staff and buckler. What does that look like? Knighted. Care for that? I can get Zoltan. Oh, actually, no. I'd prefer this. Prefer the assembly line. Ah, oh, the one item that I actually. Uh. Over many combats, using a staff as the base. Wow! Dang, so it would have been nice if. Okay. Uh. I think, I think this, what, I gains, after whenever the wearer gets a kill, this item permanently gains plus two attack speed up to a hundred. Honestly, putting that on Proton would be huge. Or, no, actually, actually no, 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 this is going to be better. When it survives combat, this item gains... Up to 20? Yeah. No, yeah, 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 yeah. This is way better. That'll go well. Put sure. this, put that on Proton. That's gonna be, cr that's gonna go crazy. Okay. We're gonna stick with this. You know what? I'm gonna move these guys back a little bit. <laughs> I don't quite like how they're like right up in their face. Basically, I just need this guy to survive. And every time he survives, his cost, his mana cost goes down. So yeah, so now he's up to 12. So if it would go down another 20, Oh wait, no, no, it, the base is 40, so it's already gone down by 10, so it can actually go up to 30, wow, so he'll only need to gain 10 mana before he can cast his ability again. I'm so curious if I can just get him to like a max... Like, really increases mana reduction. Like, mana, whatever. Is that brave or fool hunting? Yeah, ma uh, cost, <laughs> mana cost reduction. If I get eight, if I could get that to, imagine if I could get that to 40, and he's just rapid fire, just constantly activating. 
his ability? That's gonna be crazy. Yeah, sure. Well, honestly, let's take it. Let's take it. Ooh, when your units are healed, 20% of that healing is added to the shield. Ooh. Units are healed, 20% of that healing is added as shield. Is that better? I don't know. Probably. Okay, we got another Proton and we got another Hugo. We're in a good spot. Time is money. Um, money is money. every four times the... Okay, okay, I understand. I understand. Okay. Do any of these... Give cost reduction. Um, I don't think so. Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. Could be decent. Uh, actually, probably not. Um, four times the wear attacks, they gain eight attack speed up to eight stacks. This could be good. I'm gonna buy an item remover just in case. But I, I, I think this could really be good for Proton. Like, I actually think this would be, this, I think this whole thing could go really crazy for, for Don. Really just buff the crap out of him. Oh, right there. Mana bracelet. I was looking at the wrong thing. That's me being a dumb dumb. Yeah. There we go. I'm just me being stupid. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, here we go. We just need Proton to survive. If we can get another mana thing, then a uh, mana crystal, whatever thing. Then I could get the mana bracelet, and then it would give it plus ten cost reduction. And then it'll, if I can get the plus uh, 20 from this, it'll just have a permanent ability going. Which I th genuinely think is going to go crazy. Face steal 4 mana with each attack. Horror units. Fey? Again. Fey. Fey doesn't. Fey doesn't matter. We'll just go with the scrapper boost, I guess. Because Fey only really matters for Sir Sparkles. And again, eventually, we're not even really going to be having healers. We're just going to be having mythic units. So that's why I'm kind of like, things that buff Fey's not really going to be that important. Like, right here, I can just go full Mythic. Which I think is probably the play. 
I mean, it's not a not a good. It's not like the best play, but it's the play that I'm gonna be doing for the sake of the video, just to try it out and see how it goes. Yeah, see, this is for war banners. And. The sky is living proof that if you have enough brains. And war banners just don't really matter to me with this. So I think I'm gonna go with Tinker and Taylor. I could have gotten the mythic unit, but. I honestly think that this is going to be better. Components from future combat. Because that's going to mean that anything that I ever get, I could just turn into whatever component I need it to be. Which in this case is a crystal. So, if I could get, even no matter what it is, if I could get it, turn it into a crystal, then I could give Proton a guaranteed plus 10 mana uh, cost reduction already and again I really feel like that's gonna make him quite a powerful unit I just need him to actually survive <laughs> that's I think that's gonna be the hardest part about this whole thing is just keeping him alive Um, uh, I think I'm gonna go with Not this one. We I'm definitely being a lot more picky, I guess, or much more paying attention to detail this time around. Uh, I get four XP. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I could have gotten another plopper, but it's fine. Okay. Let's go here. So, yep, yeah, so if, if we do, if we are supposed to get a component from this, which I don't remember if we are, but if we are, that'll be really nice. Because then I can, like I said, can get the crystal. I've repeated that like 50 million times now. But again, that's the plan. Okay, so he didn't survive. Which is not good. But I think we still get the rewards. Which, okay. Um... I don't really care too much about any of these. Second wind could be good, I feel like. That's the only one that looked kind of interesting. The potion thing, not really what I'm interested in. I'd rather contracts. Um, unit store reroll 10 times. 
not bad. Without any of your units dying. Um. Okay, Lodestone has been charged 30 times. I don't know what that means, but we're going to go with this one. And just hope that I win a combat without any of my units dying. All of these are going to be prismatic, so it's not really actually going to matter which one I go for, but just for the sake of it, I just decided to go for it. Works to and destiny. You gain 30 armor until it first casts. Ooh, that's cool. So we could go with a bit of this. Okay. Yeah. Sure. We'll see how this goes. Probably not going to go too well. Oh, yeah. I should have probably put them actually in front of some units. That probably would have been a better idea. Fine. Hey, the proton actually survived, which is amazing. Cost reduction. That's a permanent thing, right? Yeah. The reason I ask I'm just assuming that Y'all heard that, right? The diggy diggy hole. That's awesome. Um That is so cool. This is going to be really good. For um definitely for Gigo. Last stand upon. I love the Yogg's cast, so let's, hearing that Diggy D whole song again was really nice. Um, the where it reaches 50% the game, yeah. I think I'll honestly go with this and put it on the go. He needs, I mean, he needs some buffs. Become strong. Whenever the where deals spell damage, they hobble. Of course, it's all good stuff. With junk. Oh, did I say um, I think I'm okay. I don't think I really need anything else from that lineup of stuff. Get another jack. Um, do I need much gold? Not really. I'm not really spending much gold, so I'm not too worried about it. I think I'm going to have that guy kind of be like right there. So then he's kind of tanking. And since he has a ton of armor, he's not really taking much damage. Whoa, that's a cool ability though. Oh wait, none of my guys... Oh, they're skeletons. Yep. Yep, spoke too soon. And my guys are definitely... Yep, okay. Uh, skeletons are... Uh, they're rough. They are rough to deal with.
There we go. Okay. I just need to get my guys to be stronger. Additional item. I think, isn't that just they, they move slower? So, it's not really that big of a deal. They just move a little slower. That's fine. And having Proton, I focused, I have, I know I have focused a lot on Proton, but he is a very strong mythic. And so I, I am definitely relying a lot on him. Uh, honestly, now, I think what's going to be more important for Proton uh, They're all in these, these lines. I think, I think, um, da -da 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 -ba -ba -ba. I think lifesteal. I think lifesteal is going to be more important for him now. Leech knives seem like they could be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, anything that's... I, I, <sighs> Lifesteal is going to be good. So... But do I want Blessed Blade, or do I want the Leech Knights? Probably the Blessed Blade, honestly. I probably do want the Blessed Blade. Why am I saying bless, blessed, blessed, blessed blade? Uh, honestly, yeah, let's get a book of banishment. Increase my chance of getting mythic units. Especially like late game stuff. Definitely. What is something I wanted to combine with meat? Um, uh, life steal would also be good. I, I mean, life steal just for anything, honestly, would actually be pretty good. Um, but. It does say mana soaker. Crystal plus meat. So you know what? Sure. We'll give you we'll give him mana soaker. His mana region isn't like that great, but whatever. Gonna at least increase his health.
Yeah, we'll do it like this. Yeah, see, that's not, that's not good. You see, his attack speed is cr gonna be crazy. His attack damage, not so much. But that's why I really think that one thing where you combine, what is it, what was it, like the, um, yeah, 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 so I can change this into the sword, and give that to him, and then he gets that, so he gets attack damage, which is, it's not the leech knives, but it's fine, I still think it's gonna be okay. Maybe, maybe Leech Knives would have been better. I don't know. Different effects depending on which head is attacked. Whoa. Whoa. That. That is fascinating. I'm definitely going to keep... Polly. You know, there's some very, very cool uh, mythic units. It could definitely be one of us. Okay, well, I guess, I, okay, well, I'm getting two curses, but whatever. It's fine. Fanaticism is matched only by his malice. Just let's just be happy about it. <laughs> be happy it was only it was very little. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. See, this is a very scary <laughs> lineup of units that they have here. Um, do I want Holly? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm trying to kind of figure it out as I go. Get yeah, Hugo leveled up at least. We'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. Things might not go too well, but it's fun. Also, in case anyone's curious why I gave Proton the lifesteal instead of just straight up just simply damage. It mainly is for the sake of if he does somehow end up being the final unit. Um, I'd rather him not just die. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, gain. Oh, damage reduction. You answer at least three equipped items gain. I mean, yeah. So now we could equip the Hydra guy. Which is. Yeah, see, some of these mythics I've just never seen before. I know there has been some updates and some balance changes and things like that that have come up since I've played. Uh, so maybe that's just, I don't know. Quickly spent a bunch of mana. Wow. Spell casting. Spell power for the rest of combat. Better attack. Uh.
Yeah. I think I I think I'd prefer this. Uh Actually, I'll do I'll do this. I'll do this. Cuz after they spent after they've spent 800 mana I can't be sure, but I feel like at that point, most of my guys are going to be dead. Most of, well, most of my tanks, I should say. Most of my tanks are going to be dead. So, at that point, I feel like it's just kind of like, well, might as well just kind of... You know. Oh, yeah. Hydra. That's right. So this guy, currently... Oh, Proton actually ended up dying. Somehow. Okay. Oh, this guy is... Very annoying. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Yeah, Proton actually ended up dying there. Again, not a good thing. See, we won, but, you know, at what cost? Uh, go with that. So the Hydra, currently. Ch I think I'm prefer because unhit effects of all ten mana gain, five percent mana and twenty percent. Yeah, I feel like I prefer that. I don't know. Oh yeah, I don't have enough yet. Okay. He does die quite frequently. So maybe I should give him some armor. The this guy here. So I do have Alright, oh, never mind, I don't anymore. Do I wanna do I okay, okay, okay. What do, again, what do I want to... I think, I honestly think just giving him another meat would probably be good. Anything that's going to both increase his health and allow him to survive for longer. I think that's going to be the better option. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'll go with this. 
goblin toss. Oh. Ooh, a 19. I think I would have preferred the gold medal. But, eh, it's fine. Free, I mean, it's free stuff. I can't, it's not like I can really complain. I do feel bad for that guy. <laughs> I think I'm going to move him off to the side a little bit. And have this guy be more of like the tank-ish. Because I do want to try to at least complete the contract. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Apparently not. At least not this time around. Very close, but... Not quite. Uh, the And then, okay, we have a key go, okay. This, you know, Jack here is not very good. <laughs> uh, let's just use all of our potions. Try to make something happen here. Please don't die, sir. You know... Used all of my potions. And this time, Jack wasn't the one that died. It was the freaking glooper guy. Or Globbert, or whatever. I don't know. Whatever his name is. Gosh sakes. All he had to do was not die. Is that too hard? Is that too much? Blobbert, that's his name. Honestly, maybe instead of Blobbert, I go for Bluke. Because he just, he seems better, I'm going to be honest. Like, he actually seems really strong. Probably shouldn't have him up front, but, you know. You know if you're uh, Sky's Ballista, okay. It's a hundred percent of the price, but you don't have to return it. Um... So close to... 100% as well. Um, I'll probably go with that. Again, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I should put, like, armor 
like or more armor on this guy like give this guy more armor but i don't at the same time i don't have When it comes to Proton, I probably want to get rid of the Thunder Dirt and then put in another Blessed blessed Blade. Why do I keep saying Blessed? Uh, there we go. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of that, 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 that. Oh, can't hold. Okay, never mind. And we'll just give him that instead again. And then give this to you. And then we'll just do this. And then hope that things go well. Hopefully Jack doesn't die, and then I can actually finally end up completing my thing. Jack, please. Oh, there's skeletons. Okay, well. I wish I would have known that ahead of time. Jeez, can you two just die already? Like, one of you guys. Jeez. <laughs> it's good to know my guy is able to... Like, handle himself pretty... Pretty well, but... Jeez. I mean, good job, Hugo. You did a great job, but my gosh. Oh, they're drag. Are they dragons? No, they're just. Okay, well, let's just try to. Get some stronger guys, I guess. Jack, I'm sorry, but you're just not that good. Okay, yeah, we're never completing that contract, so it doesn't matter. Jack, you just... Jack is just kind of a lost cause at this point. He... he... he become the next Blobbert. He just dies. Every time. Like, ev li ev literally every time. Like, there's not, I don't think there's a single time where he has survived, other than the time when we had Blobbert, who could, like, at least kind of tank it, tank it a little bit, and he would usually die first before Blobbert would. So then Blobbert, so then Jack wouldn't feel so bad about always dying, but. Jeez. 
Because, yeah, this guy's getting... On all levels, he is just getting messed up. Poor Hugo. Poor Hugo didn't stand a chance. Honestly, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. First time... First time going all mythic build, I'm happy with that. I'm perfect. I'm fine with losing there. Um, I I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video of uh, Tales and Tactics. If you did, please leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel. I do apologize for not uploading very much. There has been a lot going on in my life, and it's been a lot to deal with and overcome, and just try to kind of get through. Um, so I'm kind of just adjusting readjusting as uh time goes on and trying to kind of get myself back in the mindset of um recording videos again and um get my mind uh, away from things that have uh happened in recent times um but yeah uh, so anyone who has stayed to the end of the video i really appreciate it and uh and uh yeah I hope to see you guys in the next video. You guys, take care.